All right, so we got the Razor Blade Pro back up and running, got the drivers working with the keyboard and the mouse. Uh, right now we are Wonder Trading a Shiny Gyarados out through Wonder Trade using the Pokemon NTR bot. And uh, we're getting a pincer in return. So I'm just going to record this here for a little bit just to see if it's going to work. So far it connects up, it streams flawlessly, which is quite surprising considering it's usually quite choppy. Um, as you'll notice here, I don't actually uh, touch the DS in any way, so if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, my laptop's actually controlling my 3DS right now. So there it is, Type Null. Type Null is being traded out, Evolite. And that seems to be going. That's good. This is really blurry, eh? Hmm. Guess I should have probably had a little bit of a light on or something. Uh, let's see if I can get one of these lamps. All right, here we go. Of course, you guys aren't able to see the actual computer screen, but, well, the text on the computer screen. So right now it's doing type null. So that's two Pokemon that have been successfully sent out through the Wonder Trade. There we go. I could probably screen cap this on the computer, but it's easier for me to show the console too at the same time because most people will think I'm using like a 3DS emulator or something stupid, so. Uh, looks like a Slurpuff this time. All right, I'll just go back here a little ways. Don't mind the mess if you guys can see anything in the background. I haven't really focused on cleaning around here lately. Pop cans and whatnot. All right, so Slurpuff, Pokemon number three. I'll do this here for a few minutes just to see if it'll work. I'm gonna time it and see how long it actually takes for it to run into a complication. I think the biggest issue and the thing of what I'm running into maybe, and I thought about this a few minutes ago, is maybe I'm running the two and the two are running into conflict with commands maybe? I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever. <clears throat> I didn't program Pokemon NTR of course. It's uh, done up by a team of people so I'm not really sure how it communicates or anything like that. Maybe the packets that are being sent across the network are somehow conflicting with the other um, console that I'm doing this with. So maybe I'm only going to be able to do one of these Wonder Trade bots at a time. But then I'm also curious as well how Oslov on Twitch does his. If he's maybe actually sitting there and clicking his individual games. But I highly doubt it. I can't see anyone actually wanting to sit there for hours and do that. Um, at first I thought it was maybe a program on the computer. Maybe he was streaming multiple of them on one system and the bots running. I could see that working, but I don't know. I tried to virtualize Windows to do this as well, but ran into too many complications with uh, white screen with uh, KitKat, which is the NTR viewer, which allows you to stream wirelessly from your 3DS to your uh, computer. Uh, and as you can see, it's, it's actually streaming very well. It's actually right up to date too, which is not bad. So I'm thinking maybe it's a conf uh, conflict on the network. Maybe I have to route the 3DSs through different routers. I could probably do that. I could probably put one laptop on one network and one on the other. Might be able to do that. And maybe the packets won't run into each other. Might give that a shot. Interesting. Alright, so Happiny's going out. Now these Pokemon again are all level 100 battle ready, so that's that's good for you guys. That means that you guys can then get more Pokemon uh, in order to battle with. 
And I think in the last video I put in uh, the uh, Discord, I was saying uh, in that 10 minute video that I was going to try to bring back Angel Cup. So that might actually be quite helpful. All right, so we got Whalemer. Hey, we got Will Wilmer into the Pokedex. There we go. I think I'll have to. I have a couple of old computers out in the out in the garage. I might try to hook up. Oh, I'm gonna have to actually tap. There we go. There we go. Uh, so I have an old AMD bulldozer build. Uh, however, the issue with that is that it shuts down randomly on me. So I haven't really figured out that. That was my old streaming and YouTubing system. At first I thought it was maybe a, a motherboard related problem, but then I started thinking about the cooling situation. Um, I replaced the water cooler and it appears that it's my processor. I'm pretty sure it's the processor. The temperatures are just getting too hot with it. Um, I've used so much different, like I've used so many different types of thermal paste, uh, thermal grease, uh, two different water coolers. I think there's just an issue maybe with the actual uh, bulldozer itself. Uh, I tried to maybe find the air cooler that came with it originally way back, but um, I no longer have any of those accessories, so that's out of the question. I have an Intel i7, I think it's a Gen 2 at 3.6 gigahertz, and I think what I might do is I might shift the cases around uh, because I, I usually have quite a bit of hard drives uh, in any of my systems there for video content, of course. Um, I might do that, get another system in here so that way I can use that to possibly set up a third, um, a third system, or maybe I could use it for video editing while I am streaming or, or whatnot. All right, coughing's going out. Hopefully coughing goes out okay. Uh, if it, if everything seems to be going out okay here, I think the issue is, is that I'm running two of them at once. But I don't understand because I'm using, like, and when you look at the actual application, for example, like if we look at Pokemon NTR here, uh, the biggest thing with that is, is that it connects by a different um, IP address. So I'm a little bit concerned how the program's coded because that might be kind of a sloppy programming. Maybe it's not actually going out based on uh, specific uh, IP addresses, maybe it's broadcasting the command out over the network. I I couldn't tell you. I, I would like to think that it's not, but it's possible that, that could be how the actual programmers coded it to actually work. Um, I gotta find the GitHub and maybe comment on that and maybe try to find out a little bit more information about it. Um, in the meantime as well, what I could always do, uh, I could also maybe do some shiny hunting while I'm doing uh, the Wonder Trade with one console. So I'm pretty sure you guys know the lay I'm talking about, you know, my Be Right Back uh, screens and my uh, stream starting soon screen. Uh, what I could do is I could do that, have one doing a Wonder Trade and one doing shiny hunting uh, while we try to get the stream going and then switch right over to the main screen of the console, but that kind of defeats the purpose of all these custom firmware systems. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure with the type of network I have, I should technically be able to stream multiple systems um, wirelessly with Pokemon NTR. So I think I'll, I'll try setting up a, a secondary Wi-Fi connection in order to get another computer and another console going. Maybe it is an issue with collision or something like that on one of the routers with the packets. I, I couldn't say. I won't know until I actually try it. Um, I may have another router around. I probably have to find a different one. The one that I get from my service provider is absolute garbage. Uh, signal strength onto it wise and uh, how it functions is just terrible. Uh, right now I'm using a, a crazy dealing system that's, that kind of looks like, a, like an aircraft, uh, <laughs> which is insane. But yeah, I'll probably have to go find some stuff. I'm pretty sure I've got enough technology around. If not, I'm sure I could set up a computer as a hotspot. Might be able to do that and have it right through it that way. Let the computer be the actual 
uh, hotspot. Anyways, I got some things to think about anyway. Um, as you can see, I'm setting out Cosmog now. Good old Nebby going into the bay, going out to Panda. Uh, Panda, if you see this and you're getting this, by all means, uh, you know, tweet me back, shout me out, something. Let me know. <laughs> Alright guys, again, 10 minute video. I don't know why I'm doing 10 minute videos. I guess I'm just uh, enjoying talking about the projects I'm working on. Uh, you guys all know that I haven't streamed very much in the last week or so. This is the reason why I've been working on this project now all week. Just to get these Pokemon ready. Um, to get the NTR bots working. Uh, because essentially I want these to be running in the background with no issues. Basically just set them up, let them go. Let them run for, you know, hours while I stream. And uh, do Wi-Fi battles while I do, while I do it, so... Anyway guys, that's the end of this uh, little short snippet. Uh, I apologize for the previous video. I had, this, I had the fan on and I didn't want to really record and get all of them all set up again and show the issues. So uh, hopefully this one sounds a little bit clearer. Uh, hopefully my hand isn't as shaky as, uh, as I think it is. Um, but yeah, it's very odd for me to record something with, uh, with my cell phone. Usually I do screen capture, but I feel like I need to actually show what I'm doing. Uh, rather than screen capping it because no one, like, again, people don't realize that I'm not actually touching any of these consoles right now. Nothing's happening right now. This is all controlled by the computer. Um, and unless you use custom firmware or anything like that, you guys don't really understand the possibilities of this technology. So, anyways, peace out, guys. This is Angel of the Night 091 signing off with another random video. Uh, I should be getting back to uploads here soon. I have still 120 videos to upload. I am definitely behind, and that's not because of the video issues. Uh, it's actually my fault. Um, I've just kind of gotten off track with, uh, with my summer. So, Anyways, uh, peace out. Angel of the Night signing off. Bye.